Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And also thank you very much for the committee to invite me uh, present in this online seminar. I'm really happy to have this uh, moment. Uh, actually, our research is uh, related to uh, new innovations for seaweed cultivations. And then for this time, I would like to present a novel method for protecting Capapicus alfarezi from predators. My name is Maruf Kazim. I am professor uh, in the Faculty of Fishery and Marine Science, Halu Oleo University. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the introductions of our research is, uh, we know that Capapicus alfarezi is uh, mostly cultivated by coastal community in Indonesia. Almost all the village uh, located in the coastal area in Indonesia, uh, the people was cultivate the seaweed for the activity, the activity. Uh, this is uh, because of the seaweed cultivation is very simple method and using the also low capital. Only using the rope and buoyance and they have designed the long line with the very simple and tie the tally of the seaweed, uh, I mean tally of the capapicus and let it until 45 days they can harvest it. And after that, they can dry, dry it in the uh, near the coastal area or something, sometimes near the, the road. And after that, they can uh, cleaning up it and then sell it to get the money. So that is very, very simple method. The very short period, only 45 days. This is the very, very uh, promise to get, uh, so, I mean, that is a very short period to get money. So that's why this is the main reason uh, for the uh, for the people for want to cultivate this uh, uh, seaweed. So so that's why uh, mostly of the coastal area uh, you can find seaweed activity there. And yeah, if you, I mean that is in, in most uh, village you can found uh, dry uh, they are uh, hang it in the near the coastal area sometimes near the uh, the road and so maybe because of the very simple uh, method uh, make uh, this uh, seaweed activity is very popular uh, in in coastal area in indonesia yeah actually this is there is a very good uh, income a guarantee for the coastal community actually and but you know uh an uh, horrible uh scenery uh, although you can found in the coastal area i mean the aside because uh, of the lot of people using uh, a lot of people cultivate the seaweed uh, you can found uh, sometimes sometimes in the village just in the near the village or in the front of the village uh, of, of, of uh, uh, i mean that is the just near the village you can find a garbage uh, a lot of garbage uh, uh, in the surface of the coastal area and because of the using the used bottle and that is for the buoyance of the uh, this is a long line method so that's why you can found uh, yeah leaking plastic bottle are also uh, you can found in the even no, surface sometimes also in the in the bottom of the water so yeah improper arrangement and this for the long rope and then sometimes uh, it's very very but few in the front area perhaps this is because of the very simple uh, I mean that's a very simple method, and then using the used bottle. Uh, this is the 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 another problem that we can found in in uh, coastal area in, in Indonesia, and also you can found that uh, a lot of uh, problem like epiphyte and ice ice disease, epiphaun, and yeah, I mean that is the the epiphyte. It's really cover sometimes cover the seaweed, so it was uh, decrease the productions and also ice ice disease. Ice ice disease is really really uh, make uh, farmers frustrated 
I mean, uh, sometimes they are only uh, have uh, uh, the growth of the seaweed cannot be, uh, I mean, that is cannot be grow anymore for the seaweed. And this is really make a serious problem for the farmers. And another main problem is, uh, I mean, that is uh, the few, I mean, that if they are only put the 100 gram per, for example, maybe, and they are only, yeah, sometimes the, the seaweed cannot grow properly. I mean, uh, only few seaweed can grow in well, but mostly cannot be grow. Uh, after we have a reset, then we found that the actually in the water column, the seaweed was grazed by herbivores, particular for the siganit. Siganit is a herbivore that every time can graze the seaweed, not only five times or three times, but every time if they are uh, in the uh, water, then they are found the seaweed and they graze it. Uh, if the big fish graze the seaweed, then they eat the, the, the young uh, talus. But if uh, the small fish eat or graze the, uh, ta or the, the seaweed, they only uh, graze the surface. But because of the teeth, then uh, the seaweed was become white and pale and die. So this is really problem. This is really problematic found in the coastal area in Indonesia. And during our research, we found that 60% of the productions in every time, in every harvesting time was decreased. I mean that productions was decreased 60%. That is, uh, this is for our research. We don't know in another research. Then I believe that this problem is not only for an Indonesia, but also in all area that they have cultivated this uh, seaweed that this problem was of course. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our research was conducted in Lakeba coastal area, one of the, uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, that is one of the uh, area that uh, have a lot of uh, seaweed cultivations activity there. And then this is uh, locations in, in Eastern Indonesia, particularly in Southeast, Indonesia, Southeast Sulawesi in Eastern Indonesia. Uh, because uh, this area is uh, one of the uh, Indonesian seaweed uh, development center, I mean. And this is the Kapapikos Alfarezi. This is uh, seaweed that uh, we are using in our research. Uh, yeah, this is, you can uh, found that uh, this in mostly area, in the coastal area. This is our research. And this center in Indo Indonesia, uh, this is have uh, South East Sulawesi. And in South Sulawesi, they have a bau bau. I mean, this is the one of the very, very good locations for the seaweed uh, cultivation uh, activity. So that's why we are choose this location for the, our result. And <clears throat> for the result, actually uh, we have uh, for the seaweed cultivations for, I mean, the, for the Kapapikus cultivations, we are using the floating cage uh, to produce the good uh, growth rate with no effect of the herbivore attack then they have we have variant four variant of floating cage uh, that we develop uh, including the horizontal net and then vertical net and basket net and long net this four variant is uh, we are developed from the our previously research this is the previous research we found the floating cage the big floating cage that we uh, they have uh, another uh, we have a patent for this and then this is the second uh, uh, I mean the design and after we design this uh, two method then we develop become uh, very simple this is very uh, I mean that is expensive method but we try to develop uh, the very uh, cheaper method that the first one is basket net basket net uh, they have uh, also patent for this. Uh, Basket net, they have a striker, and then using like uh, I mean that is uh, we have using the water column for uh, cultivate the seaweed. We have put it inside the uh, basket net, and yeah, we are let it until 45 days for uh, harvest time. And 
Also, this is the vertical net. Vertical net is one of our design that is really, really also cheaper compared than our previously uh, reset. Then this is we call uh, horizontal net because uh, vertical net because they have using the water column for uh, seaweed cultivation uh, cult, uh, yeah, for the to cultivate the seaweed. <clears throat> and another one is a horizontal net. We call it hori net. A horizontal net is uh, one uh, design that is very very uh, good for uh, area with high current because this is very tough and even though they have a lot of uh, i mean that they have a big wave then they can use uh, this uh, design and also another design is very cheaper also is long net long line net i mean that is uh, maybe because uh, we uh, compare the long net, long line, then we can use net to use in four in ten meters uh, long. So we uh, uh, give a name for this design is a long net. Uh, they can protect inside uh, the seaweed inside the the uh, net, and the seaweed can grow uh, well. Okay, for the statistical analysis, I mean that is for the uh, reset for the growth, uh, specific growth rate of <clears throat> this reset is actually for the uh, four floating cage variant. Uh, we are uh, analyzes, uh, we uh, get uh, the growth result that uh, were no different actually uh, for this uh, growth rate. I mean, for specific growth rate for this variant, uh, for this, uh, I mean, for the horizontal net, the average is around four. And for the basket net also, sometimes you uh, also, this is around the four also. And then for the, uh, for the vertical net, this is also around the four and long net also uh, around the four. So uh, after we uh, try to analyze in statistical analysis, uh, all the average of uh, uh, specific growth rate is 4.6% uh, uh, per day. Uh, of course, this is uh, it's similar in all variation, uh, all variant of, of uh, this method. So uh, in this research, it appears that the, uh, even though the horizontal net little bit uh, in a little bit uh, higher than another uh, method, but uh, in statistically they have no different. And yeah, the horizontal net make good uh, use for the water surface, and it's very good also for the high flow, high current, and, and uh, compare them uh, vertical net uh, or another, uh, another reset. Uh, actually, uh, during our reset is uh, more different where cause of the uh, shape of the number of the talus we saw that the grow is very good inside the cage. And this is was because of the talus uh, cultivate in, 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 in in floating cage is uh, look uh, good compared than long line. That is, uh, yeah, we can found sometimes they are, uh, uh, I mean, that is uh, white and, and dye. That is uh, for the comparisons of the uh, few of the, of the talus. Uh, if we compare from uh, floating cage and long line. And for, uh, we, we we try to, to to analyze the growth of the uh, comparison comparison of the growth uh, total in in five kilo. We, the production is from five kilo. Uh, if we uh, the for the method of the horizontal net uh, from five kilo, uh, we uh, after forty days we can that is uh, become ninety point two kilogram. Uh, for the long line from five kilo, it become 12.72 kilogram. This is the comparison. The comparison be between this uh, horizontal net and uh, for the long line. I mean, that is, uh, yeah, uh, the, the growth of uh, Kappa Ficos Alpha is different uh, for this uh, research. I mean, for the, the different of, this, uh, of those uh, methods. And 
uh, for we try also to to compare the the talus. I mean the the average of the talus from 100 gram in each uh, seed of the seaweed. Yeah, each of the seaweed. There are uh, actually uh, also different between cultivations uh, uh, method, uh, both of method in floating cage and long line, and within uh, initial uh, 100 gram of the weight, it was changed become uh, 700 and 758 kilo for the floating cage, and from 100 gram for the long line, it become 488 gram uh, for long line. So it could be rich uh, in average. I mean, that is uh, half of the uh, productions from the 100 uh, to become 700 and 100 to become 400. So it's different. It's statistically, it's very, very significant different. The difference between this uh, actually, not only actually in the in the mostly in natural, but not only for uh, 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 not only one factor, but uh, in this research we are really really focus only uh, for the effect of the floating cage uh, using for the uh, seaweed growth. And yeah, we are try also to found the the variations of the specific growth rate in each month, in every month from April, May, June, July, August, and September. We found that uh, no different. I mean, actually during July and August, while the, the, uh, the fish is very, very dense in coastal, uh, in, in near the coastal cultivation area, the specific growth rate, if we are using the floating cage, I mean, uh, particular for the horizontal net, the specific growth rate is still high compared than long line. This is the difference. I mean, uh, ju during July, June, July, and August is the very high uh, growth of the seaweed. So that's why uh, the difference uh, between uh, this method is uh, really, really significant. And also, uh, if we try to looking at the 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 growth from 50 gram to uh, from 50 gram after 45 days uh, in each month, actually, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, for for the each month that is uh, really really very uh, different. Yeah, the result of specific growth rate, uh, the the result of the growth of the new talus per month during uh, this research uh, from the May to, to October is that uh, in, in each variations, it's quite different between two methods. I mean, however, uh, this variations in this not uh, provide a significant uh, difference in each month, but if we compare with the, from the sea, uh, from the long, uh, I mean, the, the floating cage, and long line, they have a different. Particularly the growth from the May to July, it seems to be different. But uh, uh, for, of, I mean that the different with between the the growth of uh, during September to October, and this can expect that the percent of the herbivore. before. I mean during uh, August to September, or sometimes in late uh, July to uh, early September. This is uh, the the high dense of the uh, herbivore, uh, of course here. But you know, if even though they have a lot of fish appears in the coastal area, I mean near the the seaweed are seaweed cultivation area, but the growth rate of uh, the seaweed during this period is still high. Uh, so that's why it's uh, no no effect of the occurrence of the uh, seaweed or herbivores uh, in this uh, area. However, it looked uh, the difference between a floating cage and long lines uh, in, in every month. Uh, it appears that uh, they have two months significant difference in the growth rate of the, of, of the seaweed. And it can be expected that the, the presence of herbivore uh, attack uh, of, the, of the seaweed it uh, can, 
can uh, we can we cannot found in this uh, in this uh, month during our uh, research and uh, so the conclusions of our uh, research during uh, uh, for this uh, 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 presentations is that the the floating cage variant can protect Capapicus alfarezi from various attack of the herbivore fish and there are uh, no difference in the growth rate of the Capapicus alfarezi cultivated uh, using its variant of the cage and uh, there is a significant difference in growth rate of the Capapicus alfarezi cultivated uh, using the horizontal net and and uh, long line method and also before before i close my presentation i would like to show you this is our uh, documentation for our research uh, we try to uh, to count and every talus and then sometimes also uh, try to uh, to analyze the environmental uh, variations uh, environmental factors and then this is the view uh, below uh, water of the basket net and horizontal net vertical net this is and also this is we can we can also mix from uh, be, be between the horizontal net and basket net and the growth you can show the this is the growth of the new talus uh, using the floating cage is really really good compared than uh, using the long line one so thank you very much for all uh, i hope this uh, information uh, can give you uh, much more information related the seaweed cultivation method particular for our innovations and if you have questions then i really happy to to explain uh, for you for our research thank you very much for all uh, thank you very much